Walter Cronkite. There's only one place you can find this anchorman, this editor, and his team. Cronkite and Company, only on the CBS Evening News. This is CBS. Hee, hee, hee. right around Christmas, and as you can see, Arthur Treacher's giving gift certificates free. Don't pay for gift certificates. Get them free with a family pack. Coupons can save lots of money for you. On fish, on chicken, on shrimp and clams, too. Certificates and coupons worth more than $5 free when you buy an Arthur Treacher family pack. Daddy, after work, don't forget to bring home our family pack. Free gift certificates. Update brought to you by Schmidt Beer. Good evening, everyone. Here are some headlines. President Carter, it has been learned, is considering a world trade embargo against Iran. UPI has reported that the Secretary of State, Vance, will discuss an Iranian embargo, which could include food shipments with European leaders next week. Now, the news, people in the Twin Cities protest in front of the governor's mansion the high cost of home heating oil, and employees of a male bathhouse in Minneapolis shut it down in protest. These stories tonight at 10. At Schmidt, we take the time to brew a great beer. You'll know it from your very first taste. Goodness from nature, quality brewed in by Schmidt. A naturally better beer. WCCO Television, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Hi, Minnesota. Jamie Farr, better known as Corporal Klinger here, still looking for a Section 8 medical discharge each week on MASH. I'll be in full battle dress, if you know what I mean, and ready to fracture your funny bone along with Hawkeye, BJ, Winchester, Colonel Potter, and Major Houlihan of the 4077 NASH. So turn us on, Minnesota. There's more, more, and MASH on WCCO Television Channel 4. Next Saturday, Glenn Ford portrays the embittered father whose dreams were shattered along with his leg. Cut it off. Gary Frank is the son who desperately wants to understand him. I want you to torture me! Julie Harris is the wife and mother who's caught between them. Gifts come and gifts go. The Gift, an outstanding Christmas special next Saturday at 9, 8 central. This is CBS. There's talk in Washington of placing an embargo on food shipments to Iran. The story and the rest of the day's news coming up. Like to play this Kimball organ? Who, me? Go ahead. All it takes is five minutes, two fingers, and one Kimball organ. There's nothing to it with Kimball's exclusive entertainer feature. This is fun. Hey, it's fantastic. Yes, it's a Kimball. You'll find the best organ buys this Christmas at Schmidt's by Kimball's exciting Superstar, complete with music, on sale for just $9.95. Big Black Book is coming, and it means business. It's the Bell System's new business-to-business -business Yellow Pages directory. If you run a business and sell a product or service to other businesses, it's the book to advertise in, because more people use Bell System directories than any other kind. The Big Black Book is coming. The Bell System's new business-to-business -business Yellow Pages directory. We'll be calling to tell you more about it. Leather Unlimited pre-Christmas leather clearance. Men's and ladies' coats, fry boots, bags, and all accessories. Save 20 to 50% now. Southdale, Lake and Hennepin, and Radisson Arcade. WCCO Television, Minneapolis, St. Paul. From WCCO Television, the Northwest's leading news station, this is the 10 p.m. report. Good evening. Here are some of the stories we'll be showing you tonight on the 10 p.m. report. Vice President Walter Mondale makes speeches and the Democrats make money at a big dinner in Minneapolis. Our Karen Boris was there and she's back now with a report. If you prefer the more offbeat in your politics, well, get a load of these guys. They look like kooks. They admit they're kooks and they're all running for president of the United States. And in the Twin Cities tonight, women are protesting the showing of a new movie. It's Jack the Ripper. And the women say it encourages violence against women. 
But at the top of the news, word has reached U.S. sources that infighting among opposing factions in Iran has brought on another hostage episode, this one involving the taking of at least nine members of Iran's radical Turkish minority as the hostages, the action taken by supporters of the Ayatollah Khomeini. The Turkish radicals oppose Khomeini's absolute rule and last week seized the city of Tabriz in the Azerbaijan province. The Turkish Iranians are supporters and followers of another Ayatollah, Sharat Madari. And Don, that internal political feuding in Iran today led to a march in Tabriz by supporters of the Ayatollah Khomeini. The march by several hundred people came off without incident until supporters of the local favorite decided to challenge the Khomeini backers. The result? Some pushing, a bit of shoving, some harsh words.